Hi, this is Krista Alexander from Lights in the Sky. This is a video that was shared from Brazil just about two days ago. And here you can see just a dot in the sky. It looks like a pretty typical light in the sky. It has gives off that orange fire look that we hear so much of. So I adjusted the brightness and contrast and you can see the light starts to form this wispy tail. Now at this point, it's very similar to the light that we saw in Oahu. And it also has another characteristic it shares with that light as it drops down the this wispy tail, you can almost see light moving downward, just like we saw um, as if that light was drinking from a straw, though this light seems like it's moving that energy down. And some of you know about my jelly bean theory or my bean theory idea. And if I zoom into this light, adjust the brightness and contrast, we can very obviously see that source of light. Um, and we're going to see this again throughout the video. And this is very common with the lights in the sky. Uh, they aren't as big as they as uh, that energy source is as you might think. So here you can see that wispy tail seems like it's pouring energy down. And if you look, you can actually see something that looks like it's accepting the energy a lot closer to the ground. It's directly underneath. It's just as wispy as the top one, but it doesn't have an energy source. Okay, so this might just be a coincidence, but um, to me, it looks like these things are attached and that they're affected by each other. Here's a close-up view of that, that wispy tail. So I sped this up about 300% because over a period of time, that light that we saw originally as that orange dot starts to expand and it starts to get bigger and brighter and eventually it releases what looks like a little ball of light. I say little, but a smaller ball of light. Now, as I adjust the brightness and contrast, I notice this strange light source in that top light. Again, it doesn't take up the whole cloud-like structure, only this top portion here. Here I stopped the video because this could be a bug or something that flew into the frame, um, but I zoomed in on it. It looks like it has wings or something, but you never know. Uh, if you watch the original video, you can actually see it flying in and out of the, uh, the mist. Again, I adjust the brightness and contrast, and this time when I zoomed in, you still have that, that strange oblong light source, but now you have almost kind of a, a ball of, um, swirly energy there in the middle of purple and it looks like a lamb's face or an iguana or some, some sort of like facial characteristics there. You can see the bottom light is getting much much brighter and it's attached to this black dark cloud and at the very tip of this dark cloud you can see something kind of like hanging down below. It's hard to see now, and this is one reason why I don't think this is CGI, because the light, the trees, the light posts, cars, they're all going in front of this phenomena, and that's something that really cannot be produced um, in any real way uh, with CGI. Here again, I zoom in, it's that, that little ball of purple light that we saw has now dissipated, and all that light seems to be sourced to that same oblong shape. Now here is that ball and you can see it's descended quite a bit. It's much lower into the sky and we have that darker cloud that seems to kind of be funneling out of it. Maybe that's just a coincidence from the surrounding clouds, but I'm gonna slow it down here. We see, we can see what looks like the light in the sky connecting down through the funnel that I just talked about. And then we can see this other kind of floating dark object in the sky as well. So what an interesting video. Um, I have no idea what to make of this. It's, it's certainly unique um, and a little freaky in some aspects. Some questions are, why didn't he say anything in the video? You think he'd be freaking out, but maybe it's a cultural thing. And also, how come there's nobody else who has the same footage? And as you can tell by looking at the way he's driving, it looks like it's really early morning, maybe, or sometime between dusk and dawn. Um, but, you know, who knows? Maybe there was nowhere to pull over. Maybe there weren't very many people going in that direction. Um, maybe not very many people were looking up, right? Who knows? But interesting video, and let me know what you think.